Welcome back to Marcus at Work Media. So I'm just getting up to speed with this whole Brian McKnight situation. So let me see if I can summarize this for people that have not been up to speed with it. So I guess apparently Brian McKnight has decided to abandon and disown his own children. He doesn't get along with the ex-wife. Okay, that's relationships, you know, tomato, tomato. I get it. Um, but he has took that a step further to not want to fuck with even his own kids. As far as I can tell, the kids have done nothing to him um, other than just be his kids, right? He had I mentioned at one point he wanted to have his first son, his son with his ex, to change his name from Junior so he can give that name to the new kid that he does recognize. Now let's keep, keep in mind that there's a cultural difference. So his ex-wife and kids are black African-American and his new wife and their kids are Filipino, I believe. People are calling her white, but I believe she's Pacific Islander Filipino side, right? Now with that, a lot of black women are outraged by this notion obviously with good reason why would you disown your own kids for another race that doesn't look good for the culture it doesn't look good for black men it doesn't look good for anybody involved with the equation so with that he decided to still tour and go out back on the road and apparently he had to cancel some dates and just like that Brian McKnight cancels his show in Detroit because they was flaming him in the comments. Now shout out to Phil over on Twitter because he said, update, Brian McKnight's upcoming concert in Detroit has been canceled. Now prior to Brian McKnight canceling that show, Phil had tweeted that he was getting cooked in the Facebook comments. Now over on the Motor City Casino page on Facebook, they were stating that Brian McKnight was supposed to be performing on June 9th. I could pause to read it, but it just says smooth tunes with Brian McKnight. So check it out and get your tickets, blase swaze. But over in the comments section, <laughs> Detroit was standing on business, okay? Because the first person said he might as well retire. <laughs> he might as well retire. Now that person by the name of Jones Robin followed up and says, uh, tell him bring his kids and we might come. Another person said, wouldn't even go if it was free. I wouldn't go. I would not go. And if you don't know why, let me show you. Ryan McKnight has been getting his just due out here in these streets. They canceling him, rightfully so, because he got the nerve to act like his original kids, the ones that actually look like him, the ones that actually has the same hue of complexion, ain't his kids. Talking about they was created in sin. Sir, you was married to their mother. What is it given? He is the epitome and the definition, the very definition of a self-loathing, self-hating Negro. He just, it, he just is, he embodies self-hatred. And it's really sad because he did bring some other, another child into the world with his Asian, a uh, wife and he gave that child his name to make that child a junior when he already has a junior that's living and breathing and his stupid el stupid el had ass had the nerve to change his name so he could have the same name as his new baby and then he got on the internet talking about something. I only got one daughter which is his stepdaughter that does not have his that did not come from his bullsack and he has a living breathing daughter like I could not imagine being his child like I cannot imagine having such a big old coon for a father. You hate yourself that bad that you don't even want to claim your kids? And you think that your supporters, your biggest fan base is melanin rich women. You think we gonna show up to your concert and you out here spewing these nasty things about your biological kids? You gonna have to go back to one to figure out another plan because ain't nobody supporting that music. He's upset the black community, more specifically black women, his core fan base, calling for him to be canceled. They're calling for the venue to be canceled. They're calling for his guests to be canceled. They're calling for everybody involved with any form of fashion. It's canceled. That's how adamant they are about Brian McKnight and his ridiculous behavior, especially to the culture and his kids. Let's take a look at what Brian McKnight have to say about all of this backlash. Brian McKnight here. There's been a lot of discussion online lately about how I talk about my family on social media. Typically, I prefer not to give attention to the internet trolls, 
But now my family is being harassed online and accosted in public, apparently because some people can't handle seeing my happily ever after. The children that I do not currently have relationships with, I don't post about them. Instead, I post about the children with whom I do have relationships, with whom I am proud of, and about whom I want to share my pride in their accomplishments. I don't live in the past. I live in the present and the future. Uh, I don't know if he has a PR team or not, but uh, they clearly got the day off when that statement came out. Uh, from a man's perspective, honestly, to be trill, that's some fuck shit. That's just my opinion. I got two daughters. I stand by them from the beginning of their birth until forever. So the, the, the notion um, that he could just walk away from his black family to another culture of family and disown them without even really any valid cause. I mean, it's not unlike celebrities to get into it with their kids. They don't agree. I mean, 50 Cent don't get along with his kids. I mean, Future, it got a million kids, right? So it's not uncommon for celebrities to have some disagreement with their kids or family. I mean, we had the whole situation with Master P and Romeo going back and forth on social media, him calling him a deadbeat, whatever. So, I mean, even with that equation, Master P tried to air out any grievances that Romeo might have, but he didn't vocally, personally, publicly disown his own kids for no fucking apparent reason. So put your thoughts below. You tell me what you make of this whole situation. This is Marcus at Work Media, and I'm out this bitch.